Aljamain Sterling after a win over the former Bantamweight world champion, Henan Burrell. How does that rate amongst all your performances so far? I think the greatest hands down. I uh, came up, I made a little mental mistake and I uh, timed the kick wrong in the first round where he was able to capitalize and keep me on the mat for the majority of the round. You know, he's very crafty on the ground. BJJ Black Belt, former world champion, you know, his, his, his uh, resume speaks for itself. But I uh, overcame adversity and picked up the second and third round in a big way. And I, I felt him, felt him breaking there within that second round when I had him on his back. A couple of shots landed and I, I could kind of feel the steam just, just uh, deflating out of him. Obviously you got the win. Did that play out as you expected? What was the strategy going into it? You know, use our footwork, be the more, the, the more intelligent fighter. And when he, the opportunity presents itself for a takedown, go ahead and capitalize on it. And uh, we're able to execute tonight. And boy, does it feel good, you know. As former world champion, I, I think um, Dana White and I and Sean Shelby and I are going to have to sit down and have a new uh, contract negotiation talk <laughs> after that one. You know, uh, I know they were getting down on me about not living up to my potential, and I think my last two fights showed that I, I was more than just a hype train. Well, two-fight winning streak now after those two split decision losses, and obviously that long winning streak before that, you've really proved yourself to be a, a tough contender in the division. When we spoke before, you said you didn't want to look past this fight. The fight's done, you've got the win. Who are you looking towards now? You know, there's a couple guys out there. Cody Garbrandt said I was overrated and Brian Carraway broke me. First off, I would love to challenge uh, Brian Carraway again and settle that score and smash that dude. He hasn't fought since. He uh, squeaked by with that weak-ass split decision win. And uh, Cody... I'm going to show you who overrated is. Eventually, I'm going to be able to get my hands on you, and you're going to see who, who is really overrated. Uh, as of right now, I think the Caraway fight makes the most sense. If not, bring on Jimmy Rivera. Both fights would be excited to see. Must be a good feeling in camp with Chris Weidman winning his last fight, and now you here tonight. I mean, what's, what's the mood like with you guys? It's amazing. You know, three controversial losses for, for Chris. You know, he kind of beat himself in those fights and uh, came back, beat another top contender. In a, in a spectacular way, even though he had his ad early adversity. Um, I think it just shows our team, we can, uh, we can rally and always come back. You know, we never let the lows break us and uh, define who we are. And um, we always find a way to bounce back and uh, get big wins in a big way. Well, it was an exciting fight. Thank you for talking to us and best of luck with your next one. Thanks for having me.